to pray for somebody. I want to pray for somebody.
Amen. 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 One who loved the Lord and is worshiping. Amen. Bless God. To lift up the name Jesus. And so tonight we're going to, Amen. Bless God. We're going to give, Amen. And be attentive to the word. Amen. 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 Bless the name Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I have no, Amen, hesitation in presenting to the church. Amen. Bless God. Our Bishop Antony Gorman. The church is seated. Amen. 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 Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, just make them for Jesus in the house. Come on, just lift all your hands and worship the Lord. In this cup, the blood that Jesus shed for me. Way back a cow. Jesus right now. Come on, be the blood of Jesus right now. Come on, be the blood of Jesus right now. Come on, be the blood of Jesus right now. Come on, be the blood of Jesus right now. Come on, be the blood of Jesus right now. Come on, be the blood of Jesus
Jesus. When we call on the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter how big your situation is. The songwriter said, Jesus is bigger than what people say. Jesus is bigger than whatever you're thinking. Jesus is bigger than whatever you're feeling. I bless the name of Jesus. So tonight, I am rejoicing. And I'm happy. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus in the house. Amen. I'm giving God thanks. Because standing right here is a prophecy. And I can testify of the goodness of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, worship the name of Jesus. I remember the man of God that said prophetess, my spiritual father, bless the name of Jesus. He had prophesied to me and he says, sir, amen, I, I, I have witness, bless the name of Jesus. And then he, says, he said unto our prophetess, he asked the prophetess, um, where and where did you travel? Bless the name of Jesus. And he, the prophetess was thinking about it and the, and the man of God said that anywhere the prophetess had laid her foot, bless the name of Jesus, that's amen, where amen. I am going to go. Bless God. And the first place that the prophetess laid her foot, in the that was in the Bahamas. And I'm now in the Bahamas. I'm just saying Jesus. My first time traveling. My first time going on a plane. Let's say to Jesus. Oh, worship the name of Jesus. And there's something happy. Let's say to Jesus because everything. Because when you think that God is not thinking about you, He's thinking about you. Let's say to Jesus. Because, Virgin, I did not pay for my ticket to be here. And for that, I am grateful. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, worship the name of Jesus. The Bible says, if you are calling on the name of Jesus, then the Lord will pave the way for you. Bless the name of Jesus. The Lord will tear down every stronghold. Bless the name of Jesus. Every shackles that is holding up to your foot. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. The Lord is going to break every shackles. The Lord is going to break every chain. Bless the name of Jesus. Every chain of depression. Bless the name of Jesus. With my worship a little different, but we are still worshiping the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Tonight I feel like Jeremiah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I feel like the fire is shutting up. Come on, I can have some witness tonight. I feel like the Holy Ghost. Shut up in my bones. Hallelujah. So tonight, hallelujah, I'm going to take my time. Amen. Because I have a team that I want to bring to the church because your past situation does not determine your future. Whatever you do in the past will not determine the outcome of the future. It depending on the situation you faced in the past. Bless the name of Jesus. Perhaps you've been gone down and you've been, um, bless the name of Jesus, getting locked up. Bless the name of Jesus. And then that can cause just a little itch. Bless the name of Jesus. Because when Jesus, amen, put his steps and put his hand in that situation, he changes everything. Can I have a witness tonight? That Jesus will transform the name of Jesus. We probably feel like we cannot become nothing in the future. But Jesus is saying tonight, you can become something. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. You can do all things through Christ who give you strength. Oh, worship the name of Jesus. You can go, bless the name of Jesus, to the embassy, bless the name of Jesus. And you can get your visa through Jesus. You probably have a criminal record. But when Jesus stepped within that destiny of Jesus, when Jesus stepped up to that ambassador, and Jesus said, Ambassador, you have to give this servant, destiny of Jesus, the chance to travel, destiny of Jesus. That ambassador, destiny of Jesus, will only have to be obedient. The name of 
the talking church of God. The ambassador will only have to be obedient because what Jesus said, let him Jesus. There is all promises through Christ Jesus. Oh, yes and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tonight, my team to you, destined for greatness. Do we believe tonight we are destined for greatness? If you believe you're destined for greatness, you begin to worship God. If you know that you are going somewhere, Hallelujah. and you know that your past situation, those baggages on your back, let's say, my Jesus, those chains on your foot, let's say, my Jesus, oh, let's go, we are coming from Jamaica, let's say, my Jesus, and our four parents, let's say, my Jesus, they have to work on plantation, oh, let's say, my Jesus, they have to go through whipping, oh, let's say, my Jesus, they have to go through torturing. But tonight, let's say, my Jesus, we are not going to any weeping. Oh, let's say, my Jesus, because Christ is here. Jesus came and he died at the cross for our sin. It was no sin of his own, but the sin of human race. So, as you see, a past situation just can be a minor setback. Just a minor setback. Because when Jesus is sitting, what they say, Jesus, on the pilot. When Jesus is sitting as the captain of your ship, I can tell a storm. I can tell every tsunami. I can tell hurricane. What they say, Jesus, you have to be calm. Some of us are facing a hurricane situation. Some of us are facing a but tonight, that's the name of Jesus. As long as Jesus is at the center. That's the name of Jesus. Amen. Quickly to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 30. May God have his blessing upon this word. A blessing of Jesus. Deuteronomy 28, verse 30. All right. And I sign it in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Lord shall make thee the head yeah. and not the tail. And, the, and thou shalt be above only. And thou shalt not be beneath. If thou art hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I commanded thee this day to observe and to do them. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless God. You see, I love the story of David. The Bible tells me that David's family was classified in just as the shepherd boy. And when the Lord speak unto the prophet and say, go down to Jesse's house. Yes, yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And anoint me a king. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. The, the family classified David as just a shepherd boy. Yes. But what God said, no matter if he smells no matter his situation, come on, come on. no matter how we might look to you, oh, bless the name of Jesus, looks can be very deceiving. Because I probably look at them tear up, bless the name of Jesus, oh my, bless the name of Jesus. But you don't know who you are, bless the name of Jesus. But Jesus knows who you are. The Bible, and the studies show that human race, bless the name of Jesus, mankind, only using 10 percent of your brain. Amen. Only 10 percent of your brain. Yeah. But today, best name of Jesus, Amen. We probably think that we know who we truly is. Oh, best name of Jesus, we are probably saying to ourselves, No, uh, probably I need to go through this. Probably I have to face this. Oh, best name of Jesus, probably my situation, best name of Jesus. It probably seems that there is no change to it. But David, the name of Jesus, was just a shepherd boy. Oh, the 
best name of Jesus. For me, at the time, the best name of Jesus, David never know if he protect himself. And he did not know personal hygiene. Oh. David did not know how to put himself together. For the best name of Jesus. For the best name of Jesus. For me, today, we don't know how to put ourselves together. But the Bible tells me you are a royal priest. Oh. Am I speaking to the royal priesthood of Christ?
You know, say from me, man. You know. right. Reggie, if honest to God, if I should tell you my whole life, oh, I, it's, it's, it probably, so many times I think to myself, Reggie, when my mom got conceived with me, I, I'm telling you what she said to me. My mom had to sleep naked because she would feel like her whole body was on fire. And when I analyze this, when I look through all of this, and I say, this, this has to be something. This has to be something. When I, when my mom gave birth to me and I was growing up, best name Jesus, the only thing I wanted to sleep in was my father's robe. And when my father would go out and mess up himself, I will not touch him. Everybody know that my father go out there and mess up himself because I will not sleep with him. So I know that I am set apart for this. But let's say my Jesus. Let's not so many times I want to go to parties and feel what party is like. But I cannot go to party. I cannot drink. Ask me about parties here, we can't tell about parties here. Ask me about church, I can tell you how it first feel. I can tell you about the Holy Ghost. I can tell you about the name of Jesus. Because I see the name of Jesus change me. Hey, and if God can change me, He can change you. I'm going to use my life as a testimony tonight. Because we are sitting in Lord God for too long. We are facing Lord God situation for too long. Jesus came on earth so we might be free from all of this. So how we are facing Lord God situation? What the Bible said? How we are facing the situation? When we realize, when I realize that God is really transforming my life, thanks God for this man of God. I thank God for him. Virgin, I'm telling you, Jamaica and Bahamia. I am telling you, if it wasn't for this prophet, I wouldn't be standing in Bahamas right now. There are times less than a Jesus. Depression rocked me less than a Jesus. There are times less than a Jesus. I have anxiety attacks. Oh, less than a Jesus. Suicidal thoughts. The thing is simple, less than a Jesus. For most of you, you look past your situation and you hope for the best outcome. Oh, less than a Jesus. I didn't even have work out. Oh, less than a Jesus. But you have to just sit there and wonder to God. Bless Shoes, are we in the last second of the 
issues, man. I come in the presence of God. Come worship. If I need God bless me, not Jesus. Summertime, we have to come to church empty. We have to come to church empty so our vessels can be filled. Jesus, I don't care how much your vessel is broken tonight. I don't care how many pieces of vessel is broken into. Jesus can make it. Oh, yes, Jesus, he is the potter. Yes. I, am yes. I am just a cleaner. I am just a servant. So we we'll talk about destiny for greatness. You must think. Use a testimony. Use Woo. your parts. Mm-hmm. I remember I was going to a primary school and the motto was legitimate leaders propelling towards success. And I said, no man, this 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 team, this, this motto is saying something to me. Legitimate leaders propelling towards success. So if we are just an infant and primary school, so you know, we can receive such a great blessing through that motto. Why cannot we receive the inheritance of Jesus Christ? Oh, we, are gonna, we cannot come to church and we are sick. And we are praying and asking God for healing. And God is not answering. So we feel God is not answering. Because the Bible tells me there's a time and a season. So probably my time is different from your time. And your time is different from my time. Because your time and your season is coming. Because you are destined. Because we're destined, we are chartered or we are called out for something. I don't want to take much of the time because we want to hear a word from the prophet. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow night is his night. Yes. God bless the name of Jesus. Go yes. watch the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's start. Isaiah 43 1 to 2. Yes. But thus said the Lord that created thee, uh-huh. O Jacob, uh-huh. that he had formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have not. redeemed thee. Yes, Fear not, for I have already redeemed you. Fear not, for I have already forgiven you. What bless the name of Jesus? Fear not. What bless the name of Jesus? For I've already gone through that for you. We probably. But we do something last night and it's a proper conscience. God wants to proper conscience because my said to us, you know, you're not, to, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Oh, bless him, Jesus. Even though he's pricking our conscience, he has already forgiven us. Amen. He has already redeemed us, bless the name of Jesus. He has already gone through that for us. So tonight, don't let your past determine your future. And when we have Christ, we are going to bear fruit and we are going to multiply. Amen. God bless the name of Jesus. God bless the name of Jesus. And you are not supposed to be itching ears on certain things. Because when you are itching ears to certain things, the Bible said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Not standeth in the ways of sinners. Not sit at the seat of the scornful. Some of the Christians, if we don't get it right tonight, if we don't get it right right now, because the critics and saviors look at the church as the church is weak. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Why is the answer looking at the church as weak? Because even the Christians are seeing themselves weak. Even we as Christians are seeing ourselves as something that we cannot do this. But guess what? 
If a party is keeping, the party is organized. Of the same and Jesus. They know what time to come, they know what time to go, and all that blessing and Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. We die, bless the name of Jesus. For a church, bless the name of Jesus. It comes the day of Pentecost. We are that for the church, bless the name of Jesus. Everybody come together. Have one year and one determination. It's to seek God. Because it says, seek it first. The kingdom of God. All his righteousness, everything else. If a money you want, it never had. If a clothes you want, it never had. If a blessed machine, if a house you want, it never had. If a visa you want, it never had. If we only believe, if you only believe. Because he 
is our shepherd. We shall lack nothing. And if you even lack it, something is just not the time for you to get it yet. That is the time for you to get it. Oh, bless me, my Jesus. Probably we know we are a member because God sees that you're not ready for the office. The next office that is now in life where you're not ready for it. So sit and humble yourself as a member. That's why when He's giving us the office, you must execute it well. Because we don't know when, but they say, my Jesus, he will come in for us. We don't know when. God will call me. But when we call, what will the answer be? What will the answer be? Will it be depart from me? I know you not. Or will it be well done, my good and faithful servant? Oh, bless you, my Jesus. Will it be you have run the course and you have kept the race, bless you, my Jesus? And you have kept it all well, bless you, my Jesus? Must I be carried? Our healing is coming. Our breakthrough is coming. 
roof by the shape, man. Come on, somebody. Praise God. And so God is looking for us, man, to worship him. Bow your head. Close your eyes. Father, we give the thanks for your Holy Spirit drawing these cadre of men and women to the altar. Father God, you will, only you can forgive us of our sins. For you to create and declare you bore our sin in your own body on the tree, the cross. And God, that we may become the righteousness of God. You who knew no sin became sin. Just for me and those of standing before us tonight, and all of us in this sanctuary. Father, we thank you right now that your Holy Spirit is watering these grounds. Your Holy Spirit is touching these young men and touching these young women, God. Father, because the hour is late and the clock of destiny is taken away from us. Time is not long as it has been. We see it the way the world is taking a turn, God. Mankind are moving away from the standpoint of God and moving into the things of the flesh. And oh, God, this flesh always has at war with God. And so, Father, tonight I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for this team that you brought all the way from Jamaica. God, to herald your gospel, the preacher who preached your word. Father, I pray that you would strengthen them. And oh God, I pray that your hands of mercy would even be upon them to continue to do your will, Father. Oh God, in touching all the sacredness of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for men and women to hear and heed the call of salvation. Father, we thank you right now that their faith has been stirred and God, that they will open their mouths and cry out, I heal. I can no longer live in sin. And I will come to face the grips with you, Jesus, whom to know is life eternal. Father, we thank you, please, in Jesus' name. Amen. And he taught his disciples, our Father. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and forgive us as we forgive those and lead us not. Praise God. Deliver from evil. For I is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God bless.